Hi guys, Allison here. Happy Fuse Glass Friday. Today we will be making a fall leaf wreath out of fused glass. So as you can see here, I have a sheet of kiln paper uh, with a wreath sort of outline already drawn on it. This larger circle is a 10 inch circle and then the smaller one inside is a five inch circle. Uh, this is just going to give me an idea of how I'd like to build my wreath. So I'm going to, I think, uh, make the first layer all just fall leaf colors. And then in the second layer, I'll be making more leaves as well as probably some other fall related, um, maybe nature things, maybe some little animals poking in there. We will we'll see what happens. I didn't I didn't do a ton of planning on this project, so I'm just gonna kind of have fun with it. So let's get started.
So I'm sure you guys can see me sort of puzzling this out. Um, I'm thinking that this sort of look is too flowery. Like I think it looks more like a sunflower than um, sort of the fall leaf look that I was intending. So I think I might scrap this. Um, so that's one thing that I'm definitely not afraid to do as I'm working is just, oh, this isn't working. Let me just, you know, take everything off and sort of start over. Uh, one of my favorite teachers, actually my ceramics teacher in high school was, uh, that's what she taught me is don't make any, any of your artwork too precious that you can't basically ruin it and start over. So that was a good lesson to learn and I've definitely kept that with me throughout the years. So I'm just gonna keep playing and keep putting it together um, until I come up with something that speaks to me a little bit more. So we'll keep working on this.
Okay, so this is more sort of what I had had in mind for my wreath, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, definitely wish that I could just leave it as is, but if you've seen any of my videos, you know that we have to now go back and cover all of the seams between these pieces, otherwise these pieces will not fuse together. So, trying to think about how I want to do that. Um, I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces and start laying them out and see if I like the way that that looks. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this. So I'm going to I'm just going to take a couple of the second layer off and I'm going to glue the first layer down so that uh, I at least get that glued down so that these pieces aren't moving around while I'm working on the second layer. Alright, so sort of as I was gluing, I was thinking again about what I want to do on top of this. Um, I think just covering it with more colored leaves is... I think that's going to cover too much of this because I really do quite enjoy the way that this looks right now. So I think what I'm actually going to do is make most of the second layer in either clear glass, make clear leaves, or maybe... Uh, trans uh, clear iridescent. So let me grab some of that. Okay, just make some room here. So here we have some clear iridescent. So I'm going to be making additional leaf shapes out of this to make my second layer to hold these pieces together. And also, it'll add, of course, a little bit of sparkle to my project here. Um, so I'm going to make all these leaves, and then I'm also intending to make, like I said at the beginning, I think I'm going to add some acorns and maybe some mushrooms in here.
Okay, so I have a little cluster of mushrooms down here. Maybe I'll add a couple more up here. Or maybe I should do an acorn. I'm trying to remember what an acorn looks like. Okay, so I'm making such a mess over here. It's gonna be fun to clean up. Um, so I have my little acorn, some mushrooms. I still have to add a couple details to these guys. But I thought I would bend some stringer, I have a yellow color, and make some like wheat stock type things. So I thought that that would be fun.
Uh, I apologize for the lighting. I use natural light when I film my videos and the sun is behind a cloud right now, so it is a bit dark. But uh, I made my little pumpkin here and I'm just gonna do some bent stringer, like viney, curly cue type things. Um, if I can find my tweezers, that would be a lot easier to do, but can't seem to find them at the moment. So we will just have to improvise. We're looking good here. I'm just gonna add some more, some more mushrooms, I think. Okay, so I think with that, we're done. It looks so cute. Um, I intentionally left this area free from extra design because I kind of like the look of it being just clustered down here. So yeah, we got our mushrooms, some acorns, a little pumpkin, a little wheat. I I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm excited to see how this looks. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow with the final fired project, and I will see you then. Hi friends, we are back the next day. Uh, this is the final fused fall wreath here. I am quite pleased with how it turned out. I am very happy that I decided to make the second layer of leaves in the clear iridescent color. I think uh, I think it would have been a mistake for me to go in and make that more colored leaves. I'm happy you can see all the first layer that I did. So I can actually, let me pick it up. 
and give it a little tilt for you so you can maybe see in the sun how the iridescent kind of shifts color. So it's pretty subtle, but I think it adds a little bit of something and I quite enjoy how it looks. Uh, I love my little mushrooms, my wheat stalk and pumpkin. Uh, I think I could have maybe done these guys a little bit differently, the acorns, but I'm gonna try to not be too nitpicky here because I really do love how it turned out. So as far as displaying it, I know you guys sometimes ask how I display pieces. Uh, I could either run a like a cord or twine or something around here if I wanted to hang it on the wall. But I think actually what I'm going to do for this is put little rubber feet on the bottom and then rest this flat on the table and put maybe, I mean, I have these little pumpkins that would look cute, but I was thinking putting like a candle in the center um, and using it as sort of a uh, holiday table centerpiece. So that was my idea. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you did, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every Friday, so I'll see you next week. Bye!